Well, good morning. Welcome back to Plain Chick Outdoors. It's echoey, I'm sure, because I'm inside right now. I'm just about to head out. It's dark. Looking forward to it. I am up right now at Caribou Lodge Outfitters in Cranberry, Manitoba. I'm going to go fish a lake that's new to me. Second Cranberry Lake. There's it's. Uh, part of a chain here of three three lakes first cranberry second cranberry third cranberry but i got uh an instagram message a couple times this winter from uh a young fellow from his, his uh page i believe is called up north angling i'll link it in the description below plus obviously i'll put it right here somewhere but yeah he's been catching a bunch of uh nice lake trout and he says you should really come up here and fish and try it so here i am one catch. I've never fished this lake before. So I'm going out blind. Did some research on some the internet a little bit, the maps. Tried to kind of figure out where I want to start. But yeah. So like I said, I'm up at Caribou Lodge here in Cranberry. I'll uh, leave all of the, the links here for the, the place, phone number. Norm is an awesome dude. I'll get more into where I'm staying though in a little bit and Oh, it's really centrally located, which is really, really cool. But I'll get back more into that later. Let's go fishing, I am wasting time. So right now, the goal is to try to find some deep water. Oh boy. This seems a lot easier on the map. Wow. So, first hole I pop 64 feet. I can only guess that that's deeper that way. I'm going to I'm gonna fish real quick. I'm gonna, there's a mark down there. I can't even hold off. I don't have bait out. I don't have anything set up, nothing. I'm just gonna see what happens. This is way too exciting. Oh, look at me, I'm just like a kid. I can't even get all the cameras set up. What am I doing? Clayton, don't do this. Clayton, don't do this. Get, get all the cameras set up. Clayton, don't do this. Don't do it, Clayton. Just fish. Drop a line down and see if there's any fish here, Clayton. You should do it. Got him, oh my. Are you kidding me? And it's peeling all the way back down. Are you kidding me? My, are you kidding me? Okay, Clayton, I should've got camera set up. What am I gonna do now? Oh boy, oh boy. This is nuts, this is uh, not even uh, two minutes in. <laughs> is this what I'm in for today? Oh, baby. This was insane. Like, I got to get the cameras going. This is crazy. I told myself, don't do it, Clayton. But I needed to see if there was fish out here. It took a big run all the way down, but now it's been coming in easy. It doesn't feel giant. But. Oh, where are you? Got bubbles in the hole. There it is. Oh, jeez. Wow, what a beautiful fish. So dark. Caught in my trailer hook. <laughs> what a beauty fish. Look at this. Nice way to start there. I don't have any uh, any <laughs> camera set up. I'm gonna get them set up now though. But that was instant. That was this like about a 30 incher. So dark, so beautiful. Wow, that was crazy. Instant. Okay, Clayton, get camera set up. Let's get this thing back. <laughs> That was, that was awesome. That took no time. Okay, that was insane. First hole I drilled, 65 feet of water, which is the depth I happen to like, and bang, instant. Like, I, I said five minutes on the video, but I think it was two, it was crazy. But I need to get cameras rolling and set up. I'm gonna fish outside right now because it is warm enough, and then maybe move inside as the wind picks up, but wow. That was awesome. Here's what's going on. I drilled a pile more holes here. I do like where I am. Caught that fish instantly. Um, I fished for about another five, 10 minutes there. Never marked another one. So I decided to just kind of drill some more holes. I'm moving over about probably about 150 yards to where I found that fish just because I am on the edge of a drop off right here now. So I'm still about the same depth. I'm gonna be probably about 68 feet here after I drill, maybe 67, I'm not sure exactly. Something like that. I'm gonna set up the otter because the wind is picking up a bit. And I wanna see if I can maybe fool around with the underwater camera and some other stuff. So 
I'm committed to the spot for the day. I'm happy that I caught a fish instantly. Uh, when I was drilling all these holes, I did mark some more fish, so I know there's gonna be fish in this area. I am set up, I'm rolling. I've got some chum down there. I've got fish on the bottom. I am going to put a little piece of Cisco belly meat on here, although I don't feel like I really need it right now. Oh, that's really bright. Some mark up there. 55 feet. Oh, he's chasing me. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Holy crap. Look at that. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. Like, as soon as that fish saw my bait, it was like on. On like Donkey Kong. I gotta get down here, get my transducer out. That was nuts. I've got, I've got a sled ripping right by me right now, it sounds like. Like really close. Okay. Jeez. Not a bad fish at all. Come here. <laughs> nice. Okay, 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 okay. Look at that. Nice lake trout. Such a dark colored fish. That is so cool. He's missing the top of his fin. Look at that. It's kind of crazy. Nice fish. Let me get an idea for size here. So that is 29 inch lake trout. 29 incher. So the first one was a little bit bigger than that. So that kind of gives you an idea of what uh, size we're after right now. Look how dark it is. Such a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Back you go. Okay, okay. That fish was in a hurry. I got a mark up there. 30 feet. Let's go up to that one. I like the suspended marks right now. Oh yeah, look at that. Suspended. Yeah. Instant. The suspended marks have been key. I'm messing around with those bottom marks for quite a while. And I saw a mark up at 30 feet. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you can run. You can run. I'll let you. Oh, I just dropped him. Maybe we'll come back again. Dropped him. Dropped him getting down to my transducer. Oh, oh, here he is. Oh, triple the hole. Triple the hole. He got him, I got him, I got him. I got him again. I got him again, right in the right below the hole. I saw him hit it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I saw him, I saw him nail it. That was so cool. And I had that lake trout on for like, what? Five, six seconds and caught him almost to the top. He spit it and they're so aggressive. He come at it a second time right there. That was so cool. That laker, like I said, I was up at 30 feet, smashed my jig. I had it on for a little bit. I bent down to go get the transducer, lost it, fooled around a little bit more, saw it hit right below the ice. That was so cool. Awesome. Okay, there you go. Hopefully you don't eat again. Get that jig out just in case you want to. <laughs> that would be crazy. I'm glad I set the, the otter up. It's pretty windy out there. It's a lot nicer dealing with these fish inside, that's for sure. And of course, all the camera equipment too. Come on, come on, let's do it, let's do it. Now, here we go, there we go, on the fall. It was falling and it just went slack again. Oh, that was so cool. This one's got pretty good head shakes. I was keeping my drag really tight for the hook set, but once I get them on there, I'm gonna I back it off just a little bit. Just because you got braided line, it doesn't have any stretch. So when they pull, you want them to go, okay. I've got a rod with good bend in it. Absorb those head shakes. Okay. Where are you? See my floral knot, there it is underneath the ice. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Man, that's a nice fish. I know the ice magnifies it a little bit, but that's a nice looking fish. Come on. Oh, come on. All these trout are different colors. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. That's awesome. That is Laker four of the day. I am on top of them right now. It feels like good are colors. They're beauty, beauty colors.
Okay. Such a dark fish. Oh, lake trout are so much fun. Like, hands down, they're my funnest fish to catch through the ice for sure. Like, they're so aggressive. When they do want to eat, you cannot reel it fast enough to get it away from them. Like, they are on it. They are so hungry. They're so aggressive. They remind me more of a saltwater fish. They're just so cool. I love lake trout. So, like I said, when I was fighting that fish, you want a rod that absorbs the head shake. Something with, a, like, say, a moderate to a slow action, right? But you need something that's still got enough power to bury that hook in. And like I said, I was setting my drag hard when I first set the hook, and I kind of backed off, backed off as I was fighting the fish. So this is a 40-inch tuned-up custom rod. Uh, I have a 44-inch and a 48-inch coming as well, but a 40-inch... Uh, rod is really good in the shack you maybe go to a 42 inch and like i said lake trout precision rod so it's got the real seat on there and i'm running 4000 shimano stratic here you probably could go down to a 3000 if you'd like uh 2500 possibly too i just like having a little extra line capacity i am running a 30 pound uh super slick power pro braided line and then that's connected to about probably about a six to an eight foot uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader the fluorocarbon leader is definitely a key it makes that last eight feet super invisible at the start of the video i had mentioned that where i was staying up here at caribou lodge outfitters i called up norm and i was like hey norm you got a place for me to stay for a few days so i can come up here and do some filming he's like yeah no problem so on my way up the first thing i notice is how centrally located the place is I passed by Rocky Lake, which is a got awesome smallmouth bass fishing there that Aaron did an episode on a couple winters ago. We crushed a bunch of smallmouth through the ice. And then Barbie Lake, of course, Aaron put out another episode, another uh, epic episode there with the doubleheader rainbows. That's only 25 minutes away. So already you got Rocky Lake and Barbie Lake. They're 25, 35 minutes away. And you get up to Caribou here, and then you have this big chain of lakes, the Cranberries. Cranberry 1, Cranberry 2, Cranberry 3 connects over to the Simon house there. And then across the road, one mile is huge giant Athapap Lake, which is famous for great big lake trout. And then you can go 45 minutes down the road to the east and you come across Reed Lake, which has got amazing pike fishing. So you have all these lakes that are up here. You have something to do every single day that you're up here if you want, or maybe you wanna just focus on one lake the whole time, that's perfectly fine. But maybe the fishing is slow at one of the lakes so you can kind of bounce around a little bit you can come up for three four five days and hit something different every single day you can go up and get your rainbows and your smallies and your lake trout and your pike you can do it all in one one shot norm is super super knowledgeable he is on this camp norm i'm sorry i think about 20 some years already he said i apologize norm i will find out for sure and i'll put that number right here that's how many years he's owned his camp for knows the, the cranberry lakes very very well will help put you on these lake trout and these lake trout are gorgeous like dark dark color some of the nicest lakers i've seen probably anywhere they're beautiful beautifully dark color orange fins and they're super aggressive now maybe i'm hitting it on a good time right now it could be but i've had two lakers that have dropped the hooks turned around and came and ate them instantly again like these lakers are super aggro so yeah give norm a call book a stay there he's got nice uh like a hotel room there type of thing he's also got a couple of kitchenettes so you can really you know kind of plan your trip how you want it's definitely a nice place to to lay your head at night and regroup and reorganize all your gear he also has a nice heated shop there that he allows you to to dry out all your gear in if you want as well as have some fish fries with the boys or whatever i came up last year with them in april and they had a bunch of buddies up here and it was awesome we got together at night had a big fish fry you know talked uh, talk some fishing whatever thank you very much for having me norm for these couple days you have an awesome fishery up here this is the first time we'll, fishing these lakers on second cranberry i think they're pretty cool three marks now it's getting real here we go here we go oh yeah here we go just crushed me absolutely just leveled me oh that fish just this is a little bit better fish this is a little better fish Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is better. Oh, 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 oh. heart's going. I don't, I, I loosened my drag a little bit so it could run, but wow, 
Look at it go. I'm gonna get this turned out of the way here. Wow. <laughs> so Jack. <laughs> oh, come on. So good. <laughs> Look at, oh, nothing fights like a lake trout. Nothing fights like a lake trout. Unbelievable. I've got good gear. Oh, I'm comfortable. My heart's racing. Oh, it's got some weight. It's coming at me now. Come on. It's got some weight. Oh, it's out to the side. I don't want it to rub on the bottom of the hole too much. Come on. Where are you? That was a crazy run. Like, oh, I loosened my drag a little bit because it was just wanted to go and it felt like it wasn't going to give. But it was still, it's still pretty tight. <laughs> it's coming up now. Coming up. That fish appeared out of nowhere. There was a couple marks there and all of a sudden the third mark came and it just crashed me, like just rushed me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Lake trout make me so nervous. What a day. I have got, this is my sixth fish I could land of the day. Oh, it's a fatty. That's a fatty. Oh, yes, it's a nice fish. Oh, oh, it's a nice fish. It's nice. Yeah, it's good fish. It's a good fish. Come on. <laughs> they always look a little bit bigger under the ice than they are. Because it magnifies everything, but it's still really good fish. Oh, come on. Look at that. Unreal. Oh, no, come up the hole nice. That's a nice fish. Oh, Lake Trout got so much power. So much power. Oh, come on. Come on. Come back. <laughs> I love watching him under the ice. Unbelievable. Man. Look at that fish. That's so cool. Come back. Just got to get your head started up the hole. My head's shaking. Oh, I don't want to get that. That hook caught on the ice. Come here. No, not quite, not quite. Not quite, not quite. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, where's the hook? Where's that other hook? Come on. I could grab them right here. I'm really careful that trailer hook is sticking out right there. And I don't want to put that in my hand. Oh, yes. <laughs> so awesome. Yes. Good leg trout. Oh, baby. Look at that color. Dark beauty fish. Oh, yes. Quick measurement on it. <laughs> is it 35 no 30 34 and a half inch fish half inch shy of a manitoba master angler but that doesn't matter it's an absolutely gorgeous fish beauty color so dark wow that was such a fun fight man look at it it's just revved right up i couldn't even hold on to his tail lake trout blow my mind what a day, what a day. New Lake did great. Six fish right now with a 34 and a half incher. Nothing wrong with that. I'll take that any day. Oh, look at this fish chase me. Oh, 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 that was, he hit it on the way down. He absolutely crushed it. This is another good fish. Another very good fish. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, that was unbelievable. I was dropping my bait down because I saw a fish down there and this fish skyrocketed down there. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, so good. So good. Oh. <laughs> that fish. Wow, it's another, it's another 32 or 33 inch fish. That was crazy. That fish come out of nowhere straight down and just crushed it. There it is, another beauty fish. Look at that, dark, dark, dark. 
so gorgeous, like a 32 or 33 inch fish. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back down because I was marking another fish down there at the same time. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Go oh, another suspended, I love those suspended marks. I had a mark on the bottom, but as soon as I see that suspended mark, I'm going like instantly to it. Like those are the ones right now. Look at that, instantly just shot right at me. Come on, look at him. He's, yeah, that was crazy. Any mark that's suspended right now is just insane. The ones on the bottom, I can't get them to do anything. Those suspended marks are just like, I get it in the zone and it's like instant. Absolutely instant. Oh, it's got some very good head shakes. I want to get down to get my transducer. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, wow. This has been such, such a fun day. Like such a fun day. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> nice. So awesome. They're just so much fun when they crush it <laughs> with so much authority. Okay. Back down, you go. I'm tired from that fight, hey? Okay. See ya. <laughs> oh, awesome. Awesome. It's a pretty good feeling to come to a body of water that you've never fished before and score like that. Like that's seven or eight Lakers maybe now. I don't even know. Eight Lakers, lost a couple. Marked, marked fish pretty consistently all day. Just had that one lull from two to four o'clock. But man, I got three fish in like no time. And I was working a fish on the bottom and it was kind of doing, I don't know. It wasn't really interesting to me. It didn't seem like, and I saw that mark up at 37 and a half feet. I reeled, oh, there's a mark right there. Another mark. Oh, no, jeez. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. I was just dropping down after catching that last fish. Again, another market like that 37 and a half feet come up and just crushed me. Oh my, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even get my jig back down to the bottom. Oh, look at, that's a good fight. Look at him run. <laughs> my turn, my turn to kick your butt now. Oh, Laker fishing is the ultimate, like the absolute ultimate. Oh, nice fish, nice fish. Beauty, 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 beauty. What a great fish, great fish. Great fish, great fish. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, 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 one sec, one sec. One sec. There we go. I got you. I got you. Hook out. Where's my trailer? It's already out. Another nice fish. Another nice laker. Back to back to back to back. So good. This one is squirrely. I'm going to get it back. Look at how beautiful these, these fish are too. Colors, unbelievable. Second Cranberry Lake in Northern Manitoba is no joke. Awesome. What an incredible day, like super incredible. I love big walleyes, don't get me wrong. Like I love catching big walleyes, especially through the ice. But I don't know if you can beat Lake Trout through the ice, unbelievable. Now I haven't caught any great big monsters today. You know, my average size is 29 to 34 inches there. I caught a couple smaller. At the 134 and a half. <sighs> Unbelievable. Like these fish kick your butt. Like the fight they put up, everything about it. The hit is so intense, like almost ripped the rod right out of your hand. It's just mind blowing. I never expected to come up to a lake that I've never fished before and crush lake trout like this. And literally all I did was pick an island and go off of it until I found some deeper water and I'm sitting in a 68 foot shelf. It's not super hard. 
obviously I feel very fortunate that I had a, a good run like that for like 15 minutes where I caught three fish, bang, 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 all super high quality. But another thing today, every mark has been suspended. I've been watching my flasher like a hawk all day long. I've been working the bottom for the most part. As soon as I see a little flicker, I'm cranking up to that mark to get to it and then jigging it right above them and hoping they're gonna smash it. And they have so far, like it's been so good. I probably could be jigging maybe the mid middle of the water column too, would probably help a little bit. But every time I see that flicker of a fish cruising through, I'm reeling up right there and it's been so amazing. What an incredible day. Well, on that note, that's gonna wrap up my video today. What a day, like excitement level through the roof. That was unbelievable. I just love fishing Lakers. So if you want a lake to come to right now where you can smash a bunch of lake trout, come check out Caribou Lodge. Stay with Norm there for a few days. He'll point you in the right direction where to slam some Lakers up here. Pretty incredible. And the color of the fish, it's so worth it. Like I've never seen Lakers that are that dark and that beautiful looking. I don't know what to say. It was a great day. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you soon.